नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंशु जिंदल फ्रॉम जिंदल हॉस्पिटल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज इम्प्रूविंग प्रेगनेंसी रेट्स इन आई यू आई एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव सीक्रेट्स विद नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर नागोरी वी ऑल नो दैट आई यू आई इज अ वेरी सिंपल कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड फर्टिलिटी एनहेंसिंग टेक्निक्स it entails washing the sperms and putting them inside the uterine cavity at the time of ovulation in order to increase the density of sperms around the ova which is in the fallopian tubes but there are certain prerequisites required for iui the women's age should be preferably less than 35 years she should have reasonable ovarian reserves patent tubes and the semen analysis should at least be 10 million per ml combined with controlled ovarian stimulation the success rate of iui is almost to the tune of 8 to 22% which is 3 to 4 times better than the normal fecundity of a woman we have dr c b nagori to give you the five secrets of an iui Dr Nagori runs the Institute for Infertility and IVF at Ahmedabad. He has to his credit the first stem cell pregnancy in India. He has published several papers in index journals. He has regular training in infertility, IVF, ultrasound at his center. He has contributed to several books and he has authored a very popular book by the name of Handbook of Infertility and Ultrasound for Practicing Gynecologist. So let's hear Dr C B Nagori I'm going to tell you how to optimize an IUI results IUI is normally blamed for poor pregnancy rate but if you consider certain things in your mind then you can get an excellent result first is the selection of patient particularly unexpected infertility disability infertility as well as male subfertility these are the indications where if you do an IUI you can get a very good results second important thing is that when you do an iui you should give the gonadotropin stimulation the pregnancy rate with gonadotropin stimulation is quite high almost 3 to 4 times higher than whether you use the clomiphene citrate or the letrozole so never do iui with the clomiphene citrate or letrozole always use gonadotropin to improve your results of an iui third very important thing will be the ultrasound monitoring if you monitor the ultrasound monitor by ultrasound properly particularly with the color doppler that is when the follicle develops and when it matures then the ri should be between 0.4 to 0.5 and psv should be 10 only size is not important because that is an anatomical maturity this is a functional maturity and so once you get these parameters and then you give hcg and then you should do an iui after 36 hours sometimes the psv may be very high and these are the cases where the double iui will improve the pregnancy rates so when the psv is very high or when the male subfertility is there the double iui gives an excellent pregnancy rate fourth one is the preparation preparation is by the gradient method so always prefer the gradient method where the uh, output will be very good and the pregnancy rate will be very good and last is the luteal support that you should give a luteal support with the vaginal progesterone particularly you have to give 400 mg bd vaginal progesterone to all these patients and that gives a very good pregnancy rate so only iui does not give you a good pregnancy rate starting from selection gonadotropin stimulation good ultrasound gradient method semen wash and luteal support all combined together gives a very good pregnancy rate particularly in idiopathic infertility and male subfertility as well as the disovulatory infertility with the gonadotropin you can reach up to 70 to 80% pregnancy rate in the six cycles so this is how you can optimize your iui results thank you so i would like to sum up by saying that iui is a rewarding procedure but there are certain things that you should keep in mind the ease with which the procedure is completed it should not be a difficult iui it should be done in the same premises where the semen collection is done and the time to iui which means the time from when the sample is taken to the iui procedure should ideally be less than 60 to 90 minutes then it is it has been said 
that bed rest after an IUI, ultrasound guidance, stiff catheters or soft catheters actually have very little bearing on the uh, success rate of an IUI. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel Global ART Forum so that we can bring you more and more such videos in the future. Thank you.